last on Outback Explorers is Anne Bailey. Hello, Matthew. Stephen Stockwell. Adventurer. <laughs> How's it going, Matt? Yes, How was that exciting? Very exciting. Matthew Stockwell. Was it? Really? <laughs> and we are. And Matthew Stockwell. And we are the Desert Explorers. Tuta, population one. Let's get a better look at that sign. Why have you come out to the Sirius Desert? I'm looking for the heart of Australia. I know it's around here somewhere, and I'm keen to commune with it. Okay. Why have you come to the Simpson Desert? I have come to explore a part of Australia that I have never seen before. First sand hill into the Simpson Desert. Da -da 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 -da. Big red. It's not that red, is it? And I'm not even sure if it is. Big red. But we're going to conquer it nonetheless. I gotta hold on. Oh, bumpy. How's it going? About halfway. Bumpy ride. Right. Wahoo! Third vehicle in convoy. When you get to the top, just pause because there's a bit of a drop. We're on our way down now. We got water okay, coming Matthew, down. Over. We got water over. coming down, Matthew. I know. <laughs> it's quite bumpy. We're losing precious water. Hurry. <laughs> we have sprung a leak. We are just fixing it after coming over a big red. There is many flies. Read your bill. We'll let you just crest, get down off that crest, and we'll be on our way. Little Red, conquer it. Thanks, Miss. Over now. Easier. I will not get bad footage this time. Okay. As long as it's not that bumpy. Up we go. Up we go. Up Tiger. Up Tiger. On Vixen. Yay! I managed to keep it. And the drop. Watching the drop. How's that drop, Matthew? Whoa! Oh, what's that drop? Oh, you're gonna love this country. Drop again! Whoa! Here we drop. Whoa! This is easier than Big Red. Okay, give it.
Righto, here he comes, Josh Castle. First out in the station, Buckjump. Oh, there's a bit of noise for the whip. Oh. Look out, pick out, man, Robbie, put me, you'll get bloody clipped around the ears. Righto, outside, he says, let's go. Fence and he's going to keep a bit of fence. <laughs> See what the judges decide there. Re-ride for Bradley Goring. <laughs> right oh, here he comes, Mick O'Connor, and he's got a lively little pony too. Oh, he's got a 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 oh, Righto, he nods his head, here he is, John Challenge, ladies and gentlemen. Stand by boy, and well, he's got a bit of daylight. Oh, he's cracking that whip. It's not an easy task. He's only a young fella, but he's had a go. He's had enough of that whip anyway. Uh, 63 for John Challenge, 63. Right oh, here we go with old Bart and Waggy Boy, he'll make you ride. Oh, he's going to shoot one, ladies and gentlemen, sleeping Francis. Here he comes from the grey pony. Good old Molly Duke, a left-hander, but he's swinging it wild anyway. He's got a bit of noise coming out of that. Behind the... Uh, Get a bit of light back on the subject. This billabong under the shade of this cooler bar tree. And he sang as he watched and waited for his billy to boil. Who'll come a waltzing Matilda with me? Waltz Matilda, Waltz Matilda, who'll come a waltzing Matilda with me? Down came the squatter mounted on his thoroughbred. Here's a friend he thought. Up came the troopers, one, two, three, it's a party! So he jumped up and shoved his jumbuck in his tucker bag and sang, Who'll come a waltzing Matilda with me? Waltz and Matilda, Waltz and Matilda, who come a Waltz and Matilda with me? Nobody! So up jumped the swaggy and leapt into this billabong uh, and sadly passed away. But his ghost may be heard uh, as you pass by this billabong, see who come a Waltz and Matilda with me? Who come a Waltz and Matilda with me? I can hear the ghost now. <laughs> 